So just to let you know what's going on today, uh, the Unity Tribal Society, uh, we're not Australians, we're not Indigenous, we're not Aboriginal, we are only Yidinji Bamma. That's what we're saying now. Boyo Burwal Kurumanyi Mulawai Yabindi Yiti Najin. Nayundo Nya British Bamma Nya, Saxon Bamma Nya, English Bamma Nya, Indigenous Nya, Aboriginal. The Commonwealth of Australia and the Crown Najin Nyarka Sovereignty and Dominion, that belongs to us, the tribe. And uh, today what we're doing is we're putting a notice on this building and we're letting the Federal Government and the Commonwealth of Australia know that if any court um, has a member of the tribal society in there that they'll be committing slavery under international law and under Australian laws. But furthermore, there are other crimes of genocide, uh, we're facing crimes of genocide and Australia has signed conventions to that, uh, uh, so at an international level, the United Nations. We are also proud to say that we have many international observers watching the path of Yidinji at the moment. Uh, we have open dialogues with many UN member states, including the Russian Federation, Cuba, Venezuela, uh, India and Palestine, and many others are waiting for us. And uh, today is a historic moment for us because enough is enough. Our prison systems, or the Crown's prison systems, rather are full of bloodline hereditaries, we're sick of it. We're not taking a stance anymore in their jurisdiction. It never was their jurisdiction. The fact that the recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders into the Australian Constitution campaign is about is because Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders aren't in the Constitution. And the Constitution created the Parliament which creates laws for Australians. So Australian law does not apply to these people here, to the Yudinji Tribal Society, that is a fact. In 2012, we asked the Crown and the Commonwealth to provide paperwork to say, if you have a stronger claim than Yudinji to this land, then you do so in writing. We sent it to the Pope, we sent it to the Queen, we sent it to the United Nations. No one wrote back. And in law, it is now a matter of fact that Yudinji is now open for business. We're telling the rest of the world, enough's enough. The Crown experiment is over. And uh, we don't want to be part of your, uh, your, your, your laws of the sea or your citizenship or your ships of slavery and debt and uh, commerce. Now, what we're saying is that we are making steps to give the tribe uh, an international standing and that we want to open up uh, dialogues and embassies and uh, trade missions uh, all around the world. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to place a public notice uh, 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 on the courtroom itself, uh, which Tony Abbott, the Prime Minister, which uh, the Attorney General George Brandis will receive, uh, and also the UN and Sergei Lavrov, the Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, and many other parties. So we're going to do that today, and ignorance of the law is no excuse. And it is our wish to make an offer to negotiate to settle with the ones that are benefiting from the unjust enrichments of our ancestral hereditaments, my property and my child's property and the tribal property of everyone else here. We're sick and tired of these chains that have been uh, wrapped around the necks and the feet and the hands of uh, the bloodline hereditaries and uh, no more. And what we're also saying is to everyone in the Cairns and our tribal territory, if you are born on this land, if you live on this land, we don't want to throw you out of our homes, or your homes, we're not the banks. We don't want your taxpayer money in any compensation deal. We want you to be part of our society. You don't have to be part of the tribal society or under tribal law, but we need to give you that option. So this isn't about the tribe versus Australians. This is the, the tribe asserting itself on an international level because the Commonwealth of Australia has deceived you. It has been selling you land that doesn't belong to them. It belongs to us. And we see your presence on our tribal lands as a blessing from Dayabara Gupi, our supreme creator. So we want to make that very clear. We don't want Australians to be forced out of their homes. We don't want people um, to pay their taxes to us for their sweat. We don't want to do that. We're not the banks, like I said before. If you're born on our tribal territory, you have a beneficial interest in being part of ours, our society. And what we're doing now 
is we are creating a pathway so we can set up our law structure governance and uh, be in a position to look after whether you're a white fellow, you're a Japanese, a Chinaman, whatever it may be, you're born here, then we have an option uh, to look after you. We, we have a duty of care to look after you if you want to be pursuant to our tribal society and our laws. Um, just quickly, check, Trevor Chen, by my group of media. Uh, in regards to the shield, what does the shield represent to you people? This shield here is the law. This is the tribal court. It represents the, the clan groups of Yitti. And uh, where you're standing right now, Yingabulumba, Gimoy. This place is Gimoy here. And there are many other clans. Up to ten clans here represent the shield. And this is the modern version of the law. Right here. So when Australians or any other citizen of, of any other nation around the world want to come to the tribal society and they can be uh, the shield to our tribal law which are which are contained in this area here and um, so what we might do is we're going to put up the notice and then the Nara might want to have a chat about